A Gallup poll, it's out today, shows that a record high, <laughs> high, uh, two thirds of Americans support legalizing cannabis. That includes 75% of Democrats and a majority, an actual majority of Republicans, 53%. So should America start to rethink prohibition of all drugs as a way to help solve our border mess? Joining me now, Reason.com managing editor, Peter Suderman. I call him Suderman Computerman. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. So how much of the drug war is a factor in this current migrant caravan, particularly uh, the majority of whom come from Honduras? Drug cartels are empowered by prohibition and by the existence of black markets. You want to put money in the hands of criminals, make it so that only criminals can sell and process drugs. That is exactly what happened during prohibition in the United States with alcohol, and it's what's happening all over the world with drugs, in particular with marijuana now. If we want to stop this, the first best step we can take is to legalize pot yesterday and then end the drug war after that. And that is something that politicians have just been incredibly res resistant to do for years. But look at the polls, man. Like, this is low-hanging fruit at this point. Dr legalizing marijuana is more popular than Obamacare, than the Republican tax bill, than President Trump, than Democrats, than Republicans, than Congress. I mean, of course, it's more popular than Congress. Yeah. Nobody likes Congress, that but everybody likes this Congress. at this that point. Is, that is a, a statement of fact. Mm-hmm. And this is and so this is low hanging political fruit that Congress needs to, like, start looking at this and and say this is a good idea, not just because it is a good idea, because it is moral and correct and will save lives and uh, raise tax revenues and allow police the opportunity let me, let me to ask you this. attack okay, things so, that are, so that are say... actually important. It's a good idea because it's politically popular okay. and you will you will keep your jobs in Congress making laws no. if you vote for this. Yes. All right, so let's say that we end the drug war and we do what Canada has done and nationally, federally legalize cannabis in this country and states, just like the provinces in Canada, they can decide how they want to do it and how restrictionist they want to be. How soon would that have an impact in the type of illegal immigration we're seeing right now? I think that we it would start we would start seeing uh, impacts in ways that some of which are, are would actually be difficult to predict. I don't I mean this would be a big complex change, but I think we we would start to see impacts within a couple of years. Um, we would start to see big changes. But look, you can already see changes uh, in uh, you can already see in miniature how this plays out in places like Denver and Seattle, Washington. Mm -hmm. Have you been to Denver recently? Have you been to Seattle? They're not hell holes. They're great cities to live in that I've people want to live Aspen in. I've been to and Colorado Springs. And I have to say, lovely places with nice people and uh, a pretty, pretty orderly process for getting something specific for your checkout needs. Peter Suderman, Suderman Computerman, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, as I'll always. I'll see you at the Reason 50th Gala. Very excited. Me too, thanks.